Okay, let's look at how to solve this question. Okay, so first of all, I know that OAB is the arc of a circle. Okay, meaning this is the arc. Okay, in other words, I can say that OA equals OB equals radius. Okay, so this whole thing is 12. Okay, now how to find the length of the arc AB? Now the angle is given in radian, so you can use the formula S equals R theta, where S is the arc length, R is the radius, theta is the angle. Okay, so 12 times 1.08. Okay, 12.96. Now this is exact, so don't need to round off to 3SF. So this is your final answer. Okay, now let's look at part 2. Area of the shaded region. Okay, to find area of the shaded region, I will take the area of the sector, okay, subtracted by the area of the triangle. Now, I don't know how many of you will think that this is a right angle triangle. But please do not assume unless the question says so. Okay, so therefore, this is not a right angle triangle. Okay, so to find the area of the shaded region, I will find the area of sector first. Okay, again, the formula is half r square theta. Okay, half r square theta, half r square theta. Now, no sine cosine tangent. So it's okay if your calculator is not in the radian mode. Okay, so this is 77.76. Okay, next. Area of triangle. Not right angle triangle, so you cannot use half A so you cannot use half base times height. So I will use half A B sine C. Okay, half now A B. Okay, so 12 minus 5.5, 6.5. Okay, the C is the included angle. Half A B sine C. Now, because you are taking sine of angle in radian, so make sure your calculator in radian mode. Okay, make sure your calculator in radian mode. So now, half 12, 6.5. Half 12, 6.5, sine 1.08. Okay, my answer is 34. 0.3964. Okay, so to find the shaded region, I will subtract. Okay, 77.76 minus 34.3964. Okay, 43.3636. Okay, 3SF, 43.4. Okay, so I hope you are clear with this explanation.